Alright, what's going on guys? It's Eric here from WCT bringing you guys a review of the iPhone X and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So, basically, Samsung's top of the line phone besides their Note, but I don't, I don't count their Note as something because they have like the S Pen and stuff like that. But these two phones basically go up head to head. So, as you can see, size comparison, the iPhone is obviously a little bit shorter. That's because the iPhone has a 5.8 uh, display, so from here to here, 5.8. Then on the Samsung, it's from here to here, which is 6.2. Then I know on the Note, it's like 6.3, so it's not a huge difference. But thickness-wise, let me take off the cases here so you guys can see the the. Th the these devices are. The iPhone is definitely a lot thicker than if you're getting like the iPhone 8 or something like that. But as you can see, the iPhone is definitely a lot thicker. Then here's another comparison from the uh, from the back. Yeah, there's the comparison from the back. As you can see, obviously the phone's a little bit higher. Then the thickness. Wow, is the iPhone 10 a lot thicker than the Galaxy? But I kind of like the thickness. Honestly, they feel keep clicking on apps here. Honestly, they feel pretty close to the same. Obviously, this one's a little bit more heavier, but like, honestly, it's about the same. I've been using this phone for a couple months now. I just bought it just to test it out and see if I really liked it. And I had the Note 5 before, and I didn't really like the Note 5 as much as I thought I would, but definitely in love with this phone. This phone is unbelievable. This Samsung made a high quality phone. I can't wait to see if they come out with the um, S9 because it's really going to compete with this and make this this iPhone have a battle for sure. But basically, weight-wise, this one does feel a little bit heavier, obviously, because of the thickness and stuff like that and everything they have inside, the bigger battery, the screen, and all this other fancy stuff they put inside here. But, uh, which, I just lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys. But, anyways... Obviously, the phone, this phone's going to be a lot faster than your Samsung, but obviously the Samsung phone will definitely do a lot more predict, like basically anything you want to do, it'll do a lot more than you would do on an iPhone because they limit you on an iPhone. Like, literally, like, all you can do is basically click through here, go and change a couple of your settings, but that's it. Like, with your Samsung, you literally can change everything and anything you want. So, it's up to you which one you prefer change everything that you, you want to change or limit and pretty much everyone has this phone so you'll be on the same page with everyone else because everyone loves iMessage. iMessage is a great thing like I'm, I don't mind it but I've had Android for a while now and I just got used to not having an iMessage or a system like that so it's up to you which one you prefer but other than that then Obviously, there's no headphone jack on the iPhone 10. Obviously, there's still one on here. You have USB Type-C on here. Then you have lightning on here. So, obviously, two different cables. Most people have lightning cables because I imagine all your friends have iPhones because iPhone is such an unbelievable product. People want to buy it and people will spend whatever money they want for it. Price-wise, this one costs a lot more. It's like $1,100 for like the 64 than like... 1200 something dollars for like the 256 this phone um the plus when it was selling was like 820 something dollars i believe something like that then if you just got the normal one which was just the s8 i think you paid between like 600 to 700 dollars i think it was like 750 maybe something like that but so it's up to you if i had the S8, they would be about the same size, I believe, because I'm pretty sure that screen is a 5.8 screen, roughly, somewhere around there. I'm not positive, but if you did, they would be pretty much the exact same phone. But majority is just which op, op oh, Jesus. It all depends on which operation, or whatever the heck that word is, I don't know why I can't pronounce today. Operating system you prefer. This is really simple really complicated, takes a while to figure out. You probably have to look up some stuff. I know people that have Samsung phones usually look up stuff like, oh, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do that. And on iPhone, it's pretty simple. They're like, oh, there's a tab for that. Like, oh, I want to sync all my photos to this. There's a tab basically in the settings for that. 
on Android, you basically have to go through a couple of settings before you can do all that stuff. But it all depends on the apps you use too, because some apps make it really simple, but if you don't want to go through an app because it's difficult and all that stuff, it's really hard to go through the actual fan to do all of it. But I mean, it's up to you. But honestly, I kind of like the size of the iPhone better, just like height-wise, because obviously this is a big fan. It's big in your pocket. If you have small pockets in the pants you wear, this thing will stick out. This thing may or may not, depending how deep those pockets are. But honestly, I would prefer the iPhone. That's why I got it. That's basically why I bought it, because I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to get a, an iPhone, because I like the Apple Watches. I have an iPad. Eventually going to buy a MacBook down the road. I don't know when, but probably will hopefully soon, or if not soon, I'll probably buy the next one that comes out in the summer, it all depends. But basically, there you go, guys. There is the, the iPhone and the Galaxy. It's up to you.